fake intro time. We already <laughs> ate, but we didn't do an intro. So we are in Pine Square Alley, right in Williamsport, PA, and there's Stone House Pizza and Pasta Rio. It's a real wood fired uh, pizza place. Look at this. What is it? Shamrock Shaker. It's probably shaken, not stirred. Vanilla vodka. I don't know. They have me at vanilla vodka. And chocolate sauce. I can't get past the, the whipped cream and chocolate sauce. Is that on my face? <laughs> Ooh, I thought it was like frozen. It's ice. So it's just cold. Oh, that is very delicious, but it's a lot of ice. I hope the ranch is yummy, yummy, yummy. Here we got both got house salads. She got ranch, I got creamy balsamic, but I mean, everybody has salad, so it's a good ranch. It's very good ranch. There's the wood fire grill way down there. I like how yeah big and open it is. I didn't get to see in that part. It's just more tables. I like it back here. It's very rustic and cozy. There it's like just... It's yeah, farmhouse, stone house. Yeah, like I love... Line. Look at the, the wood. So this is the stone house and it had sausage and ricotta and parmesan mozzarella sauce and mushrooms and um, caramelized, caramelized garlic. garlic. Yep. And this is the buffalo chicken with bacon and chicken, um, cheddar cheese, mozzarella and buffalo sauce. And a buffalo ranch. Mm -hmm. It is chocolate flourless cake which looks very dense and it's peanut butter like mousse. A sludge cake. Yeah. You're probably not going to like that. No. I was thinking like the Starbucks flourless cookies that were good, that were I, light. I think this looks good, but I wasn't intending on anything heavy. I'm pretty sure it's fudge. They have bananas, foster, creme brulee in the menu, but of course they're out of it, so oh gosh. I'll gauge your reaction. Can I try the peanut butter first so the chocolate's not yes. on, my, on my palate? Ooh, that's like, it was peanut butter mousse, but that's very thick. It's like fudgy consistency. Oh, that's delicious. That is just a whole lot of peanut, peanut butter. butter. Now, it is not a light mousse. I would consider it more like a fudge? peanut butter. Not so much fudge, but like a peanut butter not mousse. <laughs> oh. I don't know about this. Is it like a cookie cake? Or is it just frozen? No, it's like fudge. Oh. <laughs> that face means that I'll probably like it. Fudge cake? Like rich chocolate? Yeah, I don't like it. Let's try it together. <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I mean, is it frozen or just that thick <coughs> or dense? I think the top's frozen. Oh. Um, it's so much more palatable with the peanut butter. That peanut butter is delicious. I'm going to try the chocolate by itself first. What are your thoughts? I thought it was really good. <laughs> it's very chocolatey. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. No, I mean, The top it's is heavy. definitely heavier. Mm -hmm. It's not frozen. I don't know why it's so much harder than like the inside of the Yeah, cake. it's dramatically harder. But it's like a fudge cake. I don't like it. I hope you don't like it. You could just see that for me and you've had the chocolate yeah. cake. It's okay. Mm. I like the cake better. Okay, well, we'll share. I'll have peanut butter. It's got and a chocolate. weird 
peanut butter flavor. Like, I don't know, like there's some other ingredient in there that's throwing the flavor off. Now I'm gonna try it together. You didn't taste that weird flavor with the peanut butter? No, I taste, all I taste is the chocolate. It's good together. Yeah, it is good together. I'll eat the cake, you eat the peanut butter. Okay, deal. So what did you think of the pizza? Um, I liked it. So we got the buffalo chicken. Um, it was like buffalo ranch chicken. Yes. Um, that, that was, was the good. sauce instead of a pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, when you get a pizza like that, it's gonna be like the primary flavor is gonna be the hot buffalo sauce, but it was oh, good. Yeah. But it makes this, your nose run. Mm -hmm. The Stone House pizza, like I like that one because you could taste all the flavors of like the ricotta and the mushrooms, and I tasted no garlic. It said it came with caramelized garlic, so I'm wondering, is that in the sauce? Because oh. it was not on the pizza, um, and I didn't get any sausage in my one little piece, oh, but I did take sausage. like a yeah, little I, piece. I ate a couple pieces of each. I tasted chicken with the wood fire grill. It tasted like grilled chicken and a little bit of the char, but I mean, mm -hmm. you only had one piece of each. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I had a couple pieces of each. So the blend, the flavor blend was definitely better in the stone house oh, pizza. Yeah. That was uh, but the buffalo chicken was still good. I did get the chicken flavor mm -hmm. and like a char flavor from the wood fire grill, but um, salads are nothing to Right home about. No, <laughs> the, the you can tell they were pre made, tomatoes were mushy. The yeah. celery was like translucent because it was so cold. So, like, yeah. you could tell it was, it was sitting weird. In the there fridge. was celery on it. When's the last time you saw celery on a salad? It's been a hot minute. Like, I don't know, I don't know. if that's a typical thing or a Williamsport thing. <laughs> we should get a salad out But it's a neat little alley here. Yeah, it with, is. Um, Found some fish. Pine Square. It'd be neat in the summer. I wonder if well, they there's have, outdoor like, seating. Yeah, like I wonder if there's they have live, live music yes. or something. When I look it up online, there is live music. There's actually a little area in the restaurant for live music too, but there was none tonight. So that's our review of the Stone House. I would definitely try it. I love the atmosphere, like mm. it at, and the, in the bar part. Like, oh yeah. I really like. And there that. was other stuff on the menu. There, somebody walked by with a steak that looked really good. It was but so it was expensive. like forty dollars. Forty dollars yeah. for a steak. And we just wanted something quick and yeah. lighter, so the pizza looked good. And the one thing I do like about this wood fire pizza is it's so thin. Yeah. Because it's like wood fire, so you don't fill up like. Dollars yeah, it's not all dough. It's just... Yeah, it's the next day, and uh, we have to grab lunch. So we're actually just going to go right back to the Brickyard, which is right in Pine Square. So. We'll be trying both restaurants in the same trip. I saw that they had fried pickles. Yeah, I knew you'd be uh, eyeballing that. <laughs> so Pine Square is right here again oh. on Pine Street. Was it Pine Street or Pine Road? I think it's Pine Street. So this is the daytime shot There's of Pine pickle. Square. They've got artwork on the walls, the can, fish wall. Can we point out something about this town? There's no. still snow and ice yes. everywhere. We're more north in PA. I don't like it. And it's colder, but tomorrow is supposed to be 70 degrees. I don't believe it. So we it. look forward to that. So that's where we ate last night for dinner, Stonehouse, Firewood Pizza, and Pastoria. And now we are trying Brick Yard, Restaurant, and Ale House. So there is a door that actually connects yeah. the Stonehouse with the Brick Yard, so yeah. you could just, I guess, an appetizer at one and then go to the other for an entree. Uh, there's a shot of the menu. I'm eyeing a, a Pitts burger. Bacon, cheddar, lettuce, small fries, garlic, aioli. Are you thinking of anything? Not yet? I don't know. Drawing I'm a blank? I'm hungry. Like, I'm hungry, but I don't, like, well, it's just Well, you can weird. have, like, a quarter of mine. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not, like, hungry. Okay. So you got some pickled chips to it start. It smells pickly. Really? Yeah. So I'm curious. Yeah, I guess it does. I've always had issues with pickled chips because they are always just salty and you don't taste so pickle. The saltiest pickled chips I have ever had and I've never ordered from there again was Texas Roadhouse. It's like they took a vat of salt and was like, 
you couldn't even eat them. These are really good. They got, I guess it's a kick. I think this is like a chipotle type of mayonnaise. Yeah. Um, they're good. So I like pickle spears as well. I can't decide which one I like better because you do can taste. Or you can taste pickle in that though? Because mm -hmm. I think it's also seasoned. The breading is really, really light, so that helps. Like, really light, so you can taste the pickle. I think they're just a little too salty. Yeah. Next time, remind me to ask. I mean, I've only had pickle chips where I really actually like them one time. Yeah, there was a bar, a gr bar and grill that was owned by Drew Brees. But I'll find the name and put it in here. But they had good pickle chips. But everywhere else I've ever gone, I've not been a fan. All right, so Southwest Egg Rolls. I have been trying to find some place that's It's has getting egg. really loud in here. Yeah, that has like chilies. I love chili Southwest Egg Rolls. They still have them, we just don't have a chilies near us. No, King of Prussia is the closest. We'll have to go because Melody's been asking me to go. Um, so I am curious to taste if they're. But chilies have like this avocado lime ranch. This is regular and this is the Chipotle. And I got the Pitts Burger. It's got bacon, cheddar, lettuce, tomato, onion, coleslaw, and french fries. That looks really good. Okay, so these are good. They're not chilies, obviously. This has a lot more pepper taste, and I don't like. No, like red pepper or green pepper? Like green pepper. No. Um, they're good. They have a nice crunch, and it's not heavy. Um, tons of black beans, though. Like, it's, like the black beans are a lot in there. Not so much chicken, but they're doable. I usually put ketchup in, but there's so much mess already on it. The coleslaw is dripping everywhere. Yes. I like that the beef is the prominent flavor. But is it seasoned beef? Remember we, I yeah, forget where I mean, we you were. Can, you can tell they salt and pepper it at least. Okay. And you taste the beef over everything. So I didn't taste coleslaw yet, but it's kind of thin really? in some spots. So the first bite's really good. But hopefully in a few other bites I'll get some more of that coleslaw flavor. But I taste bacon and beef, which is always a plus to have your prominent flavors. <laughs> that was really good. That was still, your burger was delicious. Yeah. I had to say, like, I probably would have enjoyed mine, but, like, honestly, it just wasn't even hungry, which, not that I ate. Yeah, it didn't really compare to chilies. They were no. good. I like that chilies use a shredded chicken, whereas they use just chunks of chicken. Yeah. So it was a little harder to eat just from the texture standpoint, but the flavor was good. Uh, but yeah, my burger, burger was really good. Yeah. Uh, so we're leaving Pine Square right now because our event that we're at we're starts back way. over at 1.30. So I don't know where we are. So until next time, last egg.